Evelyn to Philip, V-mail dated October 19, 1944. My sweet, today the only mail I had was a letter from Sid. He wrote that he has developed a nasty temper and a bad disposition and has to get away from camp often to keep a level head. He said he is in such bad shape that he is losing his friends. I don't have to tell you how I feel not having mail from you all this time and his letter made me feel no better. We were all in the same boat that way. Besides that, we had another letter from the War Department stating that as of October 9th, Ed was still seriously ill. I've decided to write to the Major who has been sending us the reports. Perhaps something can be done about shipping Ed back to the States. I'm sure if he saw us all again, he'd get well in no time at all. Of course, I realize that he may be in no condition to travel at the moment, but nevertheless, I'd like to know that we could count on his coming home in the very near future. No harm trying. Seymour is due home this weekend, and I think it will be his last visit home for a while, because I think he is due to ship out. Very poor sentence. I can't even concentrate anymore. You sure do have odd effects on me. Mr. Bellet is making some radical changes in our place. Mr. May, our former bookkeeper, leaves next Saturday, and Mr. Bellet's sister, Jessie, takes over. She is married, and her husband is a captain in the Army. She's very friendly with me. We also took on a new fellow in the shipping department a fellow who formerly was employed by Mr. Bellet and who will fit right into George's job. I can say one thing for the radical changes. He'll have a more efficient force, and that's precisely what he desires, since George leaves next. I've been doing a little knitting each night and have gotten the front, the back of the pink sweater I'm making for Adele put together. I'm now working on the sleeves, so in no time at all she'll have another sweater. Clara called last night to inform me that the girls, as well as, as Sharp and Dome, sent off a package. She told me to inform you that the girls bought a yellow bowl pipe and that you should be on the lookout for it. It is, she concluded, the most expensive item of both packages. The weather the past few days is typical of Indian summer. It's warm and sunny in the daytime and cool at night. We have little heat at night, but keep it off during the day as the house becomes too warm then. Getting to the bottom of this page was a terrific effort for me to tonight. I can think of one more thing I want very much to tell you, that I love you, Phil, darling, and I want you very much. You're Ev.